Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. Before we continue with the vlog, I wanted to let you know that a lot of this footage is like from a month ago. I just never ended up using it, so I just had it and I was like, I need to like post it or do something with it. So um, it's just like a really random vlog, so enjoy. This past weekend, I actually went to Raging Waters with my boyfriend and we had so much fun. We had such a great time at the water park. I haven't been to a water park in years and Raging Water, I think the last time I went was like in middle school. It was so much fun and like we want to go back. We had the best time, but I ended up cutting my hair. Um, I just felt like the long hair was just too much and I wanted to cut it. Today I decided to like straighten it, curl it a little bit just to kind of see what it looks like. I feel like it's cute. Let me know what you think. Do you guys prefer the long or the short hair? Let me know. I have probably like an hour to kind of get some last minute content. I think because I was gone, I feel really behind on my content, especially YouTube. Like, I've never missed a posting day. I think I only missed one before last week. Last week, I missed two posting dates, which maybe to you guys, you don't even notice or you don't even care, but I feel really behind. I feel like all of August, I really wasn't home. I went to Disney World, spent the week with my mom for her birthday. I was working. I had summer camps. I then I went to LA and now it's September and I feel like I'm just behind on everything. Did a hurry hurry up because I could literally sit here and eat these pickles all day. Okay, I wanted to show you guys my new ears. They're from Bubble Bar. I feel like I did an unboxing in the last vlog, but I think they look so cute on. I'm wearing my new top from Shein and then my little tweed skirt. And um, I just did like a little like, TikTok transition thing. Um, I just felt like doing it, so we just did that. It's the next day and I've literally, I've just been chilling all day before I go to work. I was going to try and make like an outfits TikTok real thing, but I just didn't have the energy. And so I figured I could just do a bunch of content tomorrow, which is Friday because I have the entire day off to do whatever I want, which is nice because it's not gonna last very long, so I'd rather just take tomorrow to kind of get some Halloween content and fall content and things like that. I don't know if you guys even care. I did want to mention that Bell & Park, which is the brand that I got my Alani sweatshirt from and my California Adventure sweatshirt that I always get questions on, I actually have a code with them until the end of November, so you guys can use the code Cassie's Castle to get 15% off, so definitely use it. Um, I know I'm gonna use it to try and get some of the Halloween stuff. That's for you guys, I don't get anything out of that. I just wanted to let you guys know. Oh, also, I recently did this painting at TJ Maxx, and my boyfriend actually got it for me because I was obsessed with it. Said he would get it for me. I think she is so pretty, and the pink we love. And it was actually a $14.99, but the bottom is like, chipped here if you can see so i asked for a discount so i got it for 12 dollars. but i love this and i'm thinking i'm gonna hang it like in between the two shelves i think that would be kind of cute so that's kind of the vision today i wanted to switch out my lounge fly i've been carrying this lounge fly for like ever i take it to work every single day it's just it matches everything so that's why i just kind of stick to it i wanted to pull out a halloween one so let me go grab one i want to use my coco lounge fly i've never used it so i'm really excited i think i got it like after halloween last year which is why i never ended up using it let's take out the paper so we have gum we have my keychain of everything oh my god a bunch of random things hair clip which i was looking for the other day so i'm glad i found that hand sanitizer of course a uh, hair clip pepper spray which i need to put back on my keys uh my this goes to my tripod blocks for my charger i need one my luggage tags from the past like week or whatever i have a straw topper and this one Here's an eyelash. Okay, let's get rid of that. Oh, here's another eyelash. So maybe we can keep them since they're both here. I have my Halloween Mickey pumpkin 
straw chopper. I think I have another one over here. And then we have the Shelly Mae one. I the paper packet. Perfect. I also want to show you guys my new um, phone case. This is what it looks like. It's from Wonderland Supply Co. I have a code. It's Cassie or Wonder Cassie 10. And it's super cute. Um, I posted it on my Instagram. And then this pop socket thing is from Hello Sam Sam Designs on Instagram. So that is my new phone. And then let's take off these tags. I think I'm gonna do like an updated what's in my uh, lounge fly video for like fall and winter time. I think the last one I did was summer spring edition. So we're gonna do a fall and winter version. Like so many things I wanna film and just, it takes so much work, you guys. I just get tired and don't wanna film anything, but I have like so many ideas. So yeah, I don't know. Our bag is ready. We're gonna put this bag away. I also need to pack up the giveaway package. So I did a giveaway on Instagram of these bubble bar ears because they sent me these but i already have a pair you guys already know that and they're like my favorite so i thought i would do a giveaway so excited to ship it out to the winner i got these little bags from amazon because i figured i do kind of a lot of giveaways or like instagram t-shirt sales so it's good to have like cute little bags that i can <laughs> ship your guys's items out in So I just wrote her a little note. So I got these like paper things to um, write like everyone's addresses on. I am so excited because I ordered a birthday dress. If you don't know, my birthday is October 30th, the day before Halloween. My birthday month literally starts next week and I'm so excited. Like my birthday is my favorite holiday. I've said this many times on my channel before. It's the best holiday, like literally celebrating me all day. My favorite thing to do. I'm really excited and I placed an order on Shop Cider, which is like the first time I've ever ordered from them. I see their ads all over Instagram and so I was like, I just, I have to do it. Especially because there was a specific dress that I saw someone post and I was like, I need that in my life. And I had been thinking about the dress for so long and it was on sale, so. I had to do it. Actually, before we get into that package, I actually just got a package from Diamond Dazzle Boutique. You guys know I'm a brand rep for them, so I will have my code in the description, but I am doing a 7K giveaway on Instagram with them, and I'm so excited. So these are like the new lashes that are gonna be in the giveaway. Mean Girls Lash Collection, and it, they're in the style Cool Mom. How beautiful is this packaging? I'm obsessed, I need to get a pair for myself. So these are gonna be in the giveaway, and then also the Tiana lashes, which are my favorite, and I knew you guys would love them. So, because I always get questions on these, so I'm really excited to have these in the giveaway, so make sure you guys go enter. I'm also including some ColourPop Princess Collaboration Shadows, which I haven't received yet. I'm waiting for them to come in the mail, so once those come in, then we will have the full giveaway ready for that. I'm so excited for my Shop Cider stuff. I'm literally, like, I can't wait. The first thing... Okay, everything is are the, in these little bags. The first thing I got is this top, and it's like a corset lace-up top. And this so pretty. I'm obsessed. And the back it like laces up. I love Shop Cider because I feel like their pieces are pretty unique and they're super affordable. Like the prices are like Forever 21 prices, but I feel like the pieces are a little bit more unique. I love like this cottage core girly aesthetic that they have going on so so excited i never had like a corset like this so i'm excited to try that on next thing that i got is this dress if everything looks good i'm definitely going to be ordering more from them. this dress which is like a white dress and i've been wanting like a white dress i have like cream dresses but nothing like white you know so i saw this it looks like it's gonna be see-through if i'm gonna be honest i thought it was gonna be like a silk material so it's definitely a different material than i thought it would be this is what it looks like i'm loving this layered material i'm interested to see how this looks like on because 
It looks like it might be a little long for me. I'm really sure I'm 5'2", so I feel like the length might be weird, but we got this. I got an extra small. The last dress, which is my birthday dress, and the reason I made this order. Literally, I got this dress for like $20, you guys, which is amazing. I'm so excited. Okay. How stunning. Oh my gosh. It's literally princess vibes i'm loving this like lace up here i uh, really love this because it reminded me of rapunzel and i love rapunzel's dress i think she has one of the prettiest dresses you guys know i've been wanting that rapunzel daniel nicole crossbody bag so bad and i feel like it would be so perfect with this dress so it makes me sad that i don't have it i keep checking the website to see if they'll restock it because i need that bag for my birthday like that's gonna be my birthday present to myself it needs to come ah, isn't it so pretty oh my gosh i can't wait to try it on and it's like super like fluffy like i'm so excited oh my gosh like i literally have chills because of how excited also cup of the day we have this grogu cup um i don't remember the name of it and then we have fondo charm i actually just got that bag Hold on. also i'm wearing my alice in wonderland tee which is from target i feel like i explained this but when i did my collection video i still had a question about this my last my collection video you guys know like that luca daniel nicole bag so i got that bag from daniel nicole they sent it to me so i could take pictures but I had to send it back because that bag was a sample. Usually, whenever I've done collabs with them, they always let me keep it. But that time, they just sent me a sample to take pictures. But I was able to pick something out from the website. Which I was only okay with because the bag that I really have been wanting was on the website. And I was like, okay, perfect. Because the Luca bag is cute. But this other bag is something that I had been wanting for a while. So I was like... I'm totally fine. I will take all the pictures you want in that Luca bag. I need this one. So it finally came. How cute. It's a Minnie Mouse, Danielle Nicole. It's so pretty. Like she's so cute. Obviously, you guys know I love pink. I love like this satin bow. And then we have like this monogram detail. And the bag is like so small and like so cute. I haven't even looked inside, but that's what the inside looks like she's done this style a couple times before the other bag that i really wanted was the lady from lady and the tramp bag that came out i think at the beginning of this year and i don't know what what happened but i woke up like ready to purchase the bag but i guess i didn't realize like that it was gonna be like limited and it was not gonna be restocked and so it sold out before I could even like do anything the only thing that was available was a wallet and I was like I don't want the wallet if I don't have the bag so yeah but I want that bag so bad so I'm hoping she will restock that one because that is a bag I am obsessed with but anyways I'm happy I have this one so cute we love a pink mini moment thank you dayana cole for always treating me so well and sending me beautiful bags hope you guys love like the new goodies because i'm obsessed should i try on the dresses let's try on the dresses so here's the first item i got an extra small and i probably should have gone up to a small fits fine but i don't know like there's like lining here for like where your chest should be and it's like not like mine goes down here so like i need like I don't know like this needs to be like lower if that makes sense and i don't know i feel like the straps here looks a little funny the back looks like this you could obviously get, like tie it to tighten it and it fits fine it's super cute i think i would obviously i wouldn't wear it with like leggings probably like some cute jeans like, major tea party vibes i really like this here's the next dress i don't love it i feel like this long ruffly just isn't flattering on me because I am short. The material is super comfy, but I would prefer this to be like a satin material. It's just not giving. Also like these extra strings and like these strings, which I don't really know what to do with them. So I'm gonna try and make it work. I don't know, let me know what you think. I don't know, I feel like I don't feel very cute in this. I don't know, this one's 
eh, not my favorite. Here's the last dress, and it's my favorite. I probably should have just bought this, like I originally planned to, but I tried to buy other things. I love it. I feel like the fit is perfect. I'm kind of struggling to zip up the back, like I can't reach it, so that's kind of a problem. The fit is so cute. I feel like an actual princess. I literally love this dress. Yeah, I would 100% buy this in a million different colors. And there's built-in shorts. This is so cute. Like, this is so cute for the parks, too. Like, if you're trying to get, like, cute princess pictures in the parks, like, this is adorable. Like, could you imagine this in Magic Kingdom? Like right by Rapunzel's tower, like I can see the vision. I know like those Selkie dresses are like super popular. I feel like every Disney Instagrammer has them. They're just not my vibe. I feel like they're way too poofy for me. Like it's not realistic for me to ever wear anywhere besides an Instagram picture. So that's why I don't buy them. But this is like gives off like that princess vibe in like a more subtle way you can wear this for like special events. You could even wear this to the mall if you wanted to because it's so freaking cute. Just need that Rapunzel bag. Overall, I would recommend buying this. Um, I would completely skip the white dress. This one's cute. I think um, you just need to like figure out what size you would get. I do think like the pattern and everything is like adorable for the top. So overall, I mean, I think I will, I will definitely be checking their site a little bit more. I'll probably watch more reviews and more try-ons before I make a purchase, but yeah. Love it. I forgot to end the vlog, but thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I will see you next time for a new Disney vid. Bye, guys. <laughs>